is February 3rd. I think it's incredibly important to give an update on S&P as we're witnessing continuous bearish collapse as discussed for the last months in our trading room. This is the most powerful bearish structure we had seen since 2010. This is what I'm projecting. I'm projecting S&P to continue much further down. The S&P will not find buyers at 16.50 on monthly chart. It will continue all the way until 1500. On monthly chart, 16.50 is very, very critical. Based on the current structure, I expect it to be only bullish correction, not a reversal. So if you know Alpha Wave Trader Method, if you know what Pure Price is telling you, you would very much respect the structure. And again, let's hope we're going to get our dream bearish formation as we gotten in 2009 as it was bullish at 900. What a lovely place that was to buy. The problem is bullish trend is over with. This is a collapse is not to be ignored as we're witnessing this confirmation of multiple time frames. Here's daily. Very, very big bounce on daily. We'll be at 1724, 75. I don't expect many buyers to show up. I expect it to be nothing more but a bullish correction. And then I expect the trend to go much lower down. A bit of a bump at 1650 area, 1600, and then all the way down to 1500. Today in the trading room we had taken so far four trades. I may surprise everybody and I may just take a long four trades. I will declare one trade negative out of four, but we had a total of about nine setups. Very, very many trades on S&P, reminding you the importance of keeping trades to a minimum. Two winning trades, you are out. So, so far out of four, I will declare one negative despite S&P being in profit. So, let's see what reversal zone is telling me, because guess what? I'll be taking long at any point. Trade the time frame you see, but do not ignore the fact that bearish trend is overwhelmingly short, but each and every trend will become very, very tired. Do not ignore the fact what danger zone and reversal zone is, as I expect buyers to show up and I'm already seeing it on smaller time frames. So that's all there is on S&P. What will S&P do in the next few minutes? Will I take another trade? Monitoring S&P carefully. So that's all there is. Very very powerful collapse. The end of the minor trend on daily 17.24.75. The end of the minor trend on monthly 16.50. I'm staying ultra conservative as big as a time frame, more wiggle room you have to allow for bounce. So what will S&P do? Buyers are here. Do you know why? Because my guiding light one hour reached reversal zone. No knowledgeable alpha wave trader student or graduate of the course should be acquiring a short position at these levels. This is where buyers step in, reminding you. No trend goes on forever. So what are we witnessing? We are witnessing that bar is dipping in on S&P. As expected, reminding you the importance of not acquiring trend position at these levels. So here we are closing up the room today on February 3rd. Incredibly historical day. Trade number five on S&P. If I've taken every trade on S&P, I would have enough trades for a month. Why in the world have I done that? Because I knew that my trend is very, very tired. So here it is. Pretty please respect the very, very reversal zone. That's where I will call for my very first target. Very important to respect where these levels are. That simple and that pure. Know where not to acquire trend position. 
My trail is incredibly close. Very first target is right now. If you know where reversal zones are, you know where not to acquire trend position. And it don't matter if you trade 5 range or if you trade monthly or weekly. So here we are, 5 trades later on S&P. The smallest chart I would ever trade is right here in front of you. Reminding you, take a trade when price tells you so. And if you know how to read pure price, you would know to monitor for reversals. We are not out of the woods when it comes to the larger time frame, clearly. But I simply trade what I see. And price told me, longs are here and shorts are pretty tired. What remains to be seen if reversal zone will be broken to the upside? Because if it is, this trade migrating into a large, much larger time frame. So, my first target is here. Point later. Will S&P have enough juice to continue further up? I expect sellers to show up at reversal zone. What am I doing? I'm moving my stop to break even. Trade number five. Will S&P have enough juice to break through? Here we are. Simply trade what price tells you. That's all there is. We reviewed monthly, daily, hourly. And we've taken trades on S&P from 5, 8, 13 and so trades on S&P on multiple other time frames. Bigger the stop, bigger the target. Just simply know where to take profits off the table. That's all there is. So as expected, price is struggling to break through so reversal down one day prior. Seller stepped in. Here we are. One point out. 5 range. Know where to take your profits off the table and know when to move your stop to break even. Bullish trend did not make it very far, finding sellers at reversal zone. Formula remains the same. Adios everybody! So do not ignore the fact that we have the most powerful bearish structure we had seen since 2010. This is the inception of the most powerful bearish trend we had seen since bearish correction of 2010 and those are my projections stay tuned